I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report from MidHudsonNews.com. Thank you to my sponsor, Making Faces Unisex Salon in Poughkeepsie and Fishkill, featuring hair and makeup services, shampoo, teeth whitening, a whole lot more. Call them today, 296-0700. Mel Gibson has finally opened up about the explosive audio recordings between himself and ex-girlfriend Oksana Grigorieva that leaked onto the internet last summer, inspiring a backlash many believe has killed the Oscar winner's career. He said, I've never treated anyone badly or in a discriminatory way based on their gender, race, religion, or sexuality, period. Right. Mel Gibson said, I don't blame some people for thinking that, though, from the garbage they heard on those leaked tapes, which have been edited. Gibson was telling Deadline, he said, you have to put it all in proper context of being in an irrationally heated discussion at the height of a breakdown, trying to get out of a really unhealthy relationship. It's one terribly awful moment in time said to one person in the span of one day and doesn't represent what I truly believe or how I've treated people my entire life. Well, we'll see if this works, Mel Gibson. Police in Anaheim, California say they're investigating death threats against Friday singer Rebecca Black. Police Sergeant Rick Martinez tells the Orange County Register that Black's family received two threats through her management and a production company. Martina says they don't know if they're serious threats or just someone trying to be funny, but police are taking them very seriously. Terry Hatcher has revealed that she's suffering from an ailment called frozen shoulder. Hatcher tells Extra that she's in so much pain she can't even use her left arm. She says she's been getting cortisone shots to help with the pain. Courtney Cox and David Arquette will be sitting at the same table at the White House Correspondents Association dinner. They're both guests of USA Today, but they may not be the table with the most potential for fireworks, believe it or not. No, People Magazine has invited both Steven Tyler and Bristol Palin, along with Chris Colfer of Glee. One of Bloomberg's guests will be Brooke Burke of Dancing with the Stars. Newsweek has landed the vampire couple Anna Paquin and Stephen Moyer of True Blood. And how's this for an eclectic mix? The New Yorker table will have John Hamm, Zach Galifianakis, and the Cohen brothers. The lists have been reported by Politico. The dinner is held on April 30th. Kathleen Turner has bombed on Broadway. Her play High opened on Tuesday and will close on Sunday. That gives it a total of eight regular performance and 28 previews. Well, have you wondered how Brad Pitt and Angelina have raised such a well-mannered brood of six without going completely insane? Uh, hello, the answer is nannies, a whole lot of nannies, an entire basketball team of nannies. That's right, popeater.com spoke to an applicant for the Pitt Jolie nanny job who said she was surprised by the strict requirements asked of the family's child care providers. Each child is given their very own personal nanny who is required to have a college degree in either education or child development. The person must speak at least two languages and in the case of Brad and Angie's adopted children from other countries, the nanny in question is expected to speak the language of that child's native land. The job applicant, of course, must be willing to travel because that's pretty much all they do. The positions pay between 50000 and 150000 just to start. Can you imagine? And they are looking for nannies. Get your application in. Well, in local entertainment news, Peter Townsend's Tommy, a tale of the young boy's journey from pain and triumph, will be performed April 28th through May 8th at the McKenna stage located on the campus of the State University of New York at New Paltz. Jack Wade directs the musical. Performances of Tommy are April 28th, 29th, 30th, then May 5th, 6th, and 7th at 8th, and May 1st and 8th at 2 p.m. You can call the box office 257-3880 for tickets. That's your latest entertainment report. Thank you to my sponsor, Making Faces Unisex Salon in Poughkeepsie and Fishkill. Call them today, 296-0700 or makingfacesusa.net. For a new entertainment report daily, log on to MidHudsonNews.com. I'm Kimberly Kay.